three. Okay, wait. I'm gonna say bacon. Okay. Okay. First, that's the joke with the. Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your favorite bearded Asian, Nickel, and I'm bringing you another episode of Food Sense. For today's video, I'll be doing an AW and Wendy's mashup taste test. Now, I'll be ordering items from each menu, doing a little mashup, and seeing what I can come up with, and letting you know if it's Nickel approved for you to try. So, before we start this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Are you guys ready? Let's go get it. So I got my AW. Now it's time to go to Wendy's. Got my Wendy's. Now it's time to eat. All right, guys. I am back. I have my mashups all ready for you. For my first mashup, I'm gonna start off with this one right here. I'm gonna call this one the Terminator, and it's a Wendy's Baconator mashed up with AW onion rings and a chubby chicken. Two beef patties with bacon, or should I say, bacon. <laughs> Mayo, the onion rings with the pickles, and we also have melted cheddar cheese in there. So this burger looks delicious. As you can see, it looks pretty fire. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm pretty impressed with this. Look at this, it's a beauty. Boom, take a good shot at that. But, don't let the looks fool you. I'm gonna give this a little taste test and uh, let you know if it's nickel approved. So here I go. This looks beautiful. Cheers. Mm. You know what? I'm pretty disappointed about this one. Say what? I thought it was gonna melt in your mouth. Just because I'm a huge fan of the bacon here, but this one was pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to eat. I think it was a little bit too salty. And you know what? I'm pretty disappointed in this burger. I thought it'd be great uh, just because it looks beautiful. And you know what? This actually just reminds me of just seeing a really, really good looking, you know, girl out there. Looking all hot, looking all fly and fire, but uh, once you get to know her, um, no personality at all. I call this burger the Terminator because um, it's about to get terminated. You are terminated. And uh, definitely not nickel approved. Um, kind of disappointed to be honest, but um, it's time to move on and see what the next mashup is all about. On to my next mashup. We have the Matza Libre. It's the matzo burger from the AW mashed up with uh, cheesy nachos from cheesy chili nachos from Wendy's. First bite. Okay, I don't think I'm a huge fan of this one as well. I love the matzo burger from AW. We have the mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, we have the bacon, and we have the lettuce from the mozzarella burger. The nachos from Wendy's are not that great actually. It's uh, pretty soggy, uh, it's not even fresh, the chili is pretty cold, um, cheese is not that great. I'm not a huge fan of this. This actually doesn't even look that great, definitely doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna have to pass on this, and it's not equal approved. Alright, on to my third mashup. We have the Sloppy Teen. So it's a teen burger from a &W, which includes tomato, cheese, onions, beef patty with lettuce and bacon. I also mash it up with the uh, Wendy's Chili. Doesn't look too great, but as we learned from the first two mashups, looks can definitely be deceiving. If it looks good, it may not taste good. If it looks bad, it may not taste bad. That is so fetch. Cheers. Hmm. All over my face. Need some more napkins here. 
Looks good. All right. So this one's a little bit better. Um, I thought it was gonna be like the other ones just because of the chili. The, un the, the chili actually meshes well with this team burger because um, it's not too much. It's actually not too bad. So we could either dip the chili in or just do more dabs of that. If you love Sloppy Joe's, then you, you're definitely gonna love this one. So I'll approve it. This one's Nicholas Proof for you. So for my last mashup, I have the Frosty Float. It's the a w Root Beer mashed up with the chocolate Wendy's Frosty. I just dumped in the Frosty into the Root Beer here. Give it a little mix. I've never had a Root Beer float before. I'm assuming this is something like it. And uh, let's give this a little taste test. All I can taste is the Root Beer. Maybe I need more Frosty. It's kind of like a little shake. Frosty's really good for Wendy's. It's only 99 cents. Get one now. You know what? This one's nickel approved as well. And there you have it. a w Wendy's mashup. That sums up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think we all learned something here. If it looks good, it may not be that good. If it looks bad, it might not be that good as well. <laughs> so that's the end of my video. Please make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Please like and please share. And until the next mashup, my name is Nickel and this is Food Science.